Let's move on to a story with a little more levity. I read this in the paper the other day, it caught my eye, and I thought I've got to talk to the person who's doing this. A South Island businesswoman has seen an opportunity in the increasing amount, and I love this, I love this new phrase, I hadn't seen it before, sober curious people, sober curious. Um, and Kelly Bloomfield is soon going to open the doors to the South Island's first alcohol-free bottle shop. If not, the country's first alcohol-free uh, bottle shop. The story was in the ADT. They can be a bit of parochial. All right, now you're joining us from Invercargill, Kelly. I sure am. All right, where is your alcohol-free bottle, stop gonna, uh, bottle shop going to be? It is going to be at 53 Levin Street, right across the road from the warehouse. All right, in Invercargill. In Invercargill, yep. All right, what's it's it going to be called, Kelly? It is called Altered. Altered. Yes. Okay, look, look, Kelly, I'm, I'm no great entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, Invercargill, I've had a few beers yep. in Invercargill. But how can you have a bottle <laughs> yep. shop without any booze, Kelly? What is this about? Well, you see, there is a massive range of distilled spirits with the alcohol removed and distilled spirits made with terpenes from botanicals and flowers and plants. And they have elevating qualities. And there's also... A what do you mean? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Elevating qualities. What does that mean? They get you yep. high. Um, well, there's one particular brand. It's a New Zealand-made brand called Trips & Co. And it just it relaxes you and chills you out and makes you feel kind of what you've had a drink, but you haven't had a drink. And you can still drive and still do everything you can uh, Well, you're do. going back to the days of Clayton's. It's the drink you have when you're not having a drink. <laughs> Yeah, I think that was a wee bit before my time, but I have heard of it and I've seen a lot of comments about it. <laughs> have you done any market testing? Have I done? Um, I, not in terms of samples and so forth. Um, I haven't sort of needed to. Um, there's a huge requirement for it. We have um, a local body that governs the sale of alcohol down here. So the alcohol-free products that you might have access to in parts of New Zealand outside of Southland we don't have access to in supermarkets or bottle stores. So ah. we can't go into a bottle store and buy an alcohol-free equivalent of a gin. Oh, so, really? Yeah. No, no. Yeah, our local governing body controls... Um, and they say if you're going to sell booze, you can't sell not booze. Yeah, <laughs> I think they just like the booze booze. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And a lot of people want... A lot of people want to take a bottle of something classy with them to a family event make themselves a couple of cocktails and feel like a grown-up without being relegated to drinking. And Kelly, dinner. I have to admit, I increasingly, because of my, my health woes this year and stuff, though Saturday night was an exception, I'm really not drinking much anymore. And if you don't have something in your hand, you can feel a bit of a dick. Yep, you do. And you don't know what to do with your hands and you feel out of place. And I just want everybody to feel safe and included and have as many options in front of them as they possibly can. Okay. Now, because you're not a booze shop selling booze, you're a booze shop not selling booze, I imagine, mm -hmm. like, your opening hours are a lot easier, your compliance costs yeah. are a lot lower. You're just... Someone who sent me a text saying, <laughs> a bottle shop without alcohol is a dairy. Yes, a lot of people are saying that. But then in saying that, people that have those kind of preconceived ideas of alcohol-free products don't have a requirement for alcohol-free products. So that's totally cool. Um... It's not for everybody, that's, that's for sure, but it is for a lot of people and a lot of people are going to benefit from having access to stuff that they've never had before. Yeah. you still got the Polytech down there in, in Chicago? Yeah, we do, yeah. Oh, yeah, but you're not going to get a whole lot of students lining up on a Friday and Saturday night to buy your non-alcoholic mood-enhancing drinks, are you? Oh, I don't know yet because I haven't opened, but there will be. <laughs> okay, when do you plan to open, Kelly? Um, I was planning on opening this morning, but I haven't had FPOS and stuff arrive, and I don't want to half ass it. Good so, on you. I know um, that. So I know the problems with that. It's <laughs> either do it properly or don't do it at all. So I have delayed it to buy myself a couple of days for delivery times and hoping to be probably Wednesday this week if all goes well. All right. So Altered will be up and running by the end of the week, one hopes. And Kelly, do not open until you're ready. Uh, not worth yes, going absolutely. off half-cocked, as, as they say. Uh, Kelly, do yep, you drink no. yourself? No, I don't. How long have you been a non-drinker? Um, just over two years. Yeah? And what brought that yeah. on? Um, 
COVID lockdown and a love of alcohol that turned into too much of a love of alcohol, so I'd been better off without it. Okay. And I'm far healthier and far happier without it. Um, but Are I you going to, like, give discounts to AA members and stuff? I hadn't thought of that, but it's probably... Good idea, idea, isn't it? Good idea. Yeah. Just pick your card. <laughs> Yeah, all the little absolutely. tokens, and you get 5 or 10% off. I'm just thinking it out loud for you here. Um, <laughs> it's a brilliant idea. Yeah.